Hi guys, Xbox Avenger here. I just want to show you guys pr something pretty cool today. So let's get into this. Alright, so I'm playing Skyrim today. And as you can see here, I have all 75 of the achievements. And the hardest one probably was returning the Thieves Guild to its former glory. And when I was about to do it, I was thinking, well, I'm probably about 75% done. Went and did one mission for Delvin and Vex each, and then I got the last special assignment. I didn't even know it was the last one. But, today, if you can see this Dedrick armor, which you probably can, I used this ever since about my 150th hour of playing. Probably earlier than that, but right now I am, I'm almost at my 357th, and I'm just going to show you the armor rating on this really quick. Alright, apparently I don't have something on because it should be more than that. I don't know. Oh my god, every time I go to do something it has to autosave. Every freaking time. And right now, if you can see in the bottom right corner, it is Turdaws, 10.29pm, first of Heartfire. The fourth era, the 203rd year. Now, I've actually found out how to get past level 81 and a half, if you can see it on the bottom. And if you don't know how to do it and you have all your skills to level 100, uh, press Y on one of them to make make it legendary. And in turn, you can level up again to like practically infinite levels. And if this will ever finish auto saving, yay, there it goes. Okay. So, usually with my Diedrich stuff, my armor rating is a lot more than this. I don't know why it's not. Um. It was just more than this. That's gonna get on my nerves. Okay, there it is. It popped up finally. Armor rating 1784. And I actually used to have a lot of gold but I don't know what happened to it I thought I had more gold than that but apparently I don't alright so let's give to charity this Diedrich set of armor then I was thinking about going stealthy so I um, made my archery uh, stuff skills sorry made my archery skills legendary and I've been leveling up my Nightingale, or not Nightingale, but Light Armor skill. And right now, my armor rating is about half of what my Diedrich is, but I think it'll be fine. I'm going to have my Diedrich daggers, which, in here, I used to have Keening, but I don't know what happened to it. I have Blade of Woe in there, that's pretty sick. It's a Diedrich dagger, I do believe. And in my bedroom, I have Maroon's Razor, but... I'm just saying, I have Dawnbreaker over here, Volendrung, Chillrend, which is the only blue glass dagger, and there's my Diedrich sword I used for a long time. Whenever the upgrades are completed, like whenever I equip my ring and my uh, necklace that I have on right now, it actually makes the sword about 500 damage, somewhere in there. No, no. 300. It's almost 400. Sorry, but right here is Marax armor, which I'm just going to call that a uh, dragon priest mask. It's just called Marak. Then there's his robes, his gloves, and his boots. And in here I have his sword and his staff, which the sword is actually pretty sick looking. And over here I have a star rim shield, which whenever you put a frost enchantment on something star rim, it makes it 50% stronger, I do believe. And the Champion's Cudgel, which, besides Chillrend, is the only physical appearance that changes in a weapon that's not Diedrich. And if you can see it right there, that's the Imperial Symbol, or the Skyrim Dragon. And right here, it was supposed to be the Dark Brotherhood armor, but I have Linway's armor on it instead. Be fine. There's my Diedrich. And here I have... Guildmaster's armor, 
my Nightingale Blade, my Nightingale Bow, and my Thieves Guild Armor, which those are practically the same. Just one's brown, one's black. And, of course, the stuff isn't the same. The um, enhancements or effects. And over here, which I will put the Aetherium Crown on it because it's royal, but... Vampire Royal Armor, Vampire Boots, and Vampire Gauntlets, which look pretty cool to me. Then I'm going to put the Aetherial Crown on it. And if you don't know what the Aetherial Crown is, look up the quest um, Lost to the Ages. Over here, I have my Dawn Guard stuff Dawn Guard Heavy Armor, Shield, Full Helmet, Boots, and Heavy Gauntlets. Then in the cupboard, or cupboard, I have my Dawnguard Helmet, Gauntlets, Boots, War Axe, which does additional damage to vampires and armor. Then my Nordic Shield, which I think looks pretty sick to me. Which, in, sorry, in my opinion, it looks pretty sick. I like the way it looks. Then over here, I have a Silver Sword, which does more damage to undead. Uh, Dawnguard War Axe, which was in there, it does more damage to vampires. Crossbow, which... In the Dawn Guard's opinion, it does more damage to vampires than Ariel's bow. Okay, Ariel's bow is pretty awesome. If you shoot at the sun, well, I'm in peril. If you shoot the sun with this, I actually haven't tested it. I just lost one of my arrows. I don't know how, but uh, apparently you uh, attack nearby targets by shooting the sun with the Ariel's bow. I haven't tried it yet. And I thought I had Marin's Razor in the other room, but I probably picked it up because Keen was missing, and that's really going to make me mad. But, anyway, I'm actually going to put Harkin's Sword, which absorbs 15 points of health, magic, and stamina if wielded by a vampire, which I am a vampire. Yay. I'm going to leave it on that rack for now. I'm going to re-equip my Diedrich Dagger. And there's my crossbow, which I have enhanced to do 92 extra points of damage by uh, burning and frost. Then this is Serena's blood on it, and if you shoot at the sun, it actually makes it red and the sky red. And uh, yeah, I think that's the rest of my tour for my armory, besides the Blade of Woe, which I already pointed that out, never mind. And I guess I can search this cupboard for the sake of it. The Shield of Yskermor. Bone Hog Amulet, Nordic Carved Helmet, uh, Ancient Farmer Gauntlets, Boots, and Cuirass. And yeah, that's actually the end of it. And I just want to say, if you've ever been in Calixto's something in um, Windhelm, I think it is. I'm not exactly certain. But wherever it is, if you go in there, you will find Yskermore Soup Spoon, which... Luckily for him, he probably didn't eat that much soup because it was a golden fork. And yeah, I'll probably do a tour of my bedroom. Can't see in there, sorry. You might have saw the bed, but that's fine. And uh, yeah, I'll eventually do a tour of the bedroom probably. And this is Lakeview Manor. This is the house in Falkreath or Falkreath. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please enjoy. Oh my god. I'm sorry guys, I can't talk today. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. It'll really help out. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.